Hello, this is Charles McNamara. Today's topic, we're going to talk about hot work permits and the importance of following proper procedure with hot work permits. Where they're required to be posted, how they're supposed to be filled out, who do you notify when you have an impairment, what steps are in the impairment process. So let's take a look. Hot work is not permitted in properties where the sprinkler system is out of service. So we'll talk about exactly what is considered hot work. Hot work is considered any cutting, grazing, soldering, raising, torch work, basically anything that will create a spark. You need to be mindful of any contractors coming in or engineers performing work in the property, making sure that they have the proper certificates of fitness or licenses needed to do the job, how long the job will be required to be performed. Got to make sure that you have fire watch in place. Notify the tenants, the occupants, the local fire department, as well as the insurance company. Here we have an example of a hot work permit. You should always stop, consider using an alternative approach, but these forms must be filled out prior to the work being done if it's going to be done by an employee or an outside vendor or contractor. It's just simple, fill in the blanks, but read each question carefully and fill it out properly. So as you see here, this form is filled out and we have make-believe information here, but you're going to put the contractor's name, the date, the job number, the exact location of the work, where it's being performed. Be very specific, what floor, if it's a tenant space, a mechanical room, an electronic room, be detailed. The names of the people performing the work and the names of the people who will provide fire watch. Read each question carefully and check off the yes or no boxes. And any additional notes or contact information that needs to go in there as well. FM Global provides these hot work permits free of charge on their website. In the event, if there is hot work being performed and there is an emergency, make sure that you dial 911 as soon as possible. You should definitely know and understand the different classes of fire, class A, B, C, D, and K. In the event of a small wastebasket fire, you could grab a portable fire extinguisher Pull the pin, aim at the base of the fire, squeeze the lever, and sweep from left to right. But make sure you call 911. 